inside this giant lighthouse is the tomb of the famous explorer Christopher Columbus. Wait, I thought he was buried in Seville, Spain. There are few things more exciting and interesting to history nerds like myself than a little historical controversy. In this video, we will not only get into this controversy, but we will also tell you the fascinating story and give you a tour of this incredible site, Pharaoh a Cologne, or the Lighthouse to Columbus. Hey everybody, this is Colonel Carson with Family Tree Nuts, and recently we visited the tomb of Christopher Columbus in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic in the Caribbean, and we wanted to share its history with you. At Family Tree Nuts, we make history videos all over the United States and a few countries. So if you like videos like these, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. The Pharaoh a Cologne, or Lighthouse to Columbus, is considered a mausoleum monument. Plans for the monument were made in 1931 by an architect from Scotland named J.L. Gleave, but the plans were not put into action until 1986. It was inaugurated in 1992, the quintennial of when Columbus became the first European, beside the Vikings, to discover the New World. Yes, I know how controversial that statement is, but that's not the point of this video. The monument was paid for by the Latin American countries and cost about $70 million. The monument is in the shape of a cross, representing the Christianization of the Americas. The light is made up of 157 beams and is so bright it can be seen all the way to Puerto Rico and from outer space. Under the light is the magnificent tomb of Christopher Columbus. The outside of the structure is adorned with quotes and names of the countries in the New World. and decorated with crosses. In front of the monument are views of the historic colonial zone in downtown Santo Domingo, as well as more displays for the monument. Besides the tomb, the inside of the monument contains a chapel. Down the long corridor of the cross, are rooms dedicated to each Spanish-speaking country and contains a museum relevant to each of them. It is a truly breathtaking place. Now on to the controversy of, is Christopher Columbus buried here or not? Columbus had told many people that he wanted to be buried in the Americas, but when he died on 20 May 1506, he was originally buried in Valladolid, Spain. Three years later, he was moved to a monastery outside of Seville, Spain. Maria de Toledo, the widow of Christopher Columbus's son Diego, sent the bones of her husband and those of Christopher to be buried in the cathedral in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. The remains stayed at the cathedral until 1795 when the whole island of Hispanola came under the control of France. The Spanish were worried about Columbus's remains being under the control of the French and moved them to Havana, Cuba. And when the Spanish-American War broke out in 1898, they were moved back to Seville, Spain. Okay, this solves it, right? Columbus's remains are in Seville. But wait. In 1877, during a renovation of the cathedral in Santo Domingo, the workers found a box made of lead that contained bones. The box was inscribed with the words, Illustrious and Distinguished Male, Don Cristobal Colon. This is why the Dominicans state that they have the correct remains. 
They say that Spain got the wrong bones. The Dominican Republic states that the remains of Christopher Columbus are entombed under the light of the lighthouse. Spanish authorities state that DNA tests have proven that Columbus's remains are in his tomb in Seville, Spain. After the DNA evidence was presented, the Dominican Republic stated that it was possible that some of the bones entombed there could still be those of Columbus. At present time, the Dominican Republic has refused to DNA test their remains. I mean, let's face it, the Dominicans have nothing to gain by performing the test. Every year on Columbus Day, the remains are displayed in the crypt. What do you think? Who has Christopher Columbus's remains? Does it even matter? No matter what, the Lighthouse Monument is certainly an icon representative of him and his accomplishments. Also, this isn't the first time we've done videos about a man who has two graves. Be sure to check out our videos of both of Daniel Boone's graves, one in Missouri and one in Kentucky. So there you have it, the history of the Pharaoh at Cologne, the Lighthouse to Columbus. What do you think? Have you visited here before? Did you know any of this story before or after you visited? Have you now added this location to your bucket list? We'd love to hear from you, and please let us know in the comments below. Also, be sure to see our other historical videos from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. We have a video from the Alcazar de Colon, also known as the Fortress of Columbus, the home of Christopher San Diego. We also have a video of the main historical things to see in Santo Domingo, the oldest city in the New World. The Lighthouse of Columbus is one of those places that is not old, but its connection to history obviously cannot be denied. It's also controversial. Is Columbus buried here or is he buried in Spain? And he's even more controversial in modern day. Did he discover America? Was he a good person or a bad person? Many people have opinions all over the place on places like this, but we try to just tell you the history like it happened and take you to the places that most people will never be able to visit. We are proud to share this story with all of you. And remember, family tree nuts, let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree.